Hi everyone, it is, what, January 23rd? And even though I'm probably back in the United States by the time you're watching this, it's actually being recorded while I'm here in China because I always wait last minute to do these blog post videos and today's my first day in China. It's actually, well, it's not Wednesday. It's January 11th <laughs> here and I'm just recording these while I'm chilling, hanging out and trying to bust through my jet lag. Um, so you guys are watching this in the future and we're having a little time continuum, but I wanted to talk today about how to keep your business growing because that's the hardest part. Sometimes we're, it's really easy to start out and have a really good momentum and then have things be um, slowing down, especially in your first year. And it's easy to get really discouraged. But I wanted to talk about what we can do to keep our businesses growing because the important part of owning a business is always having it thriving. Your business should always be growing. It should always be getting better. It should always be getting bigger. You should always be challenging yourself to do new things. Um, so the first thing I want to ask is, why would you want your business to keep growing? Some people look at business as an opportunity to start something, have it grow to a certain place, and then have it plateau and um, stay the same. And that's never, ever good for a business. We want things to always be getting better and better and better. Um, even if you can't get more clients, we always want you to be growing and changing and challenging yourself and trying new things and adding new products and changing things to try and make them better. Um, so my theory is that if your business isn't growing, then it's staying the same. And if things are staying the same, eventually you're going to need to grow and change in order for your business to thrive. If your business is staying the same, you have to realize that your customers are not going to stay the same. Your customers are going to change as technology changes and interest changes. So you always need to be keeping up with these changes. Um, I also wanted to talk about how to um, grow your business. Like, what can you do to actually get better at business? And I really, truly believe that the number one thing that you can do is to read and educate yourself and learn new things. If you are not reading, then you're not getting new ideas. And sometimes reading business books or you know, some people would call them self-help books, but books about how to be better at social media or anything like that can be a great tool for you to educate yourself, learn more about your business, get some new ideas about how you want to do things. There's thousands of books out there that we could be reading. And learning and educating yourself doesn't have to be limited to the photography world. You don't have to buy ebooks for photography. You don't have to buy, you know, $2,000 newborn <laughs> workshops if that's not in your budget. And really, truly, with business, spending time learning the business side of things and understanding the back end is almost more important than being able to take great pictures. Um, a lot of you guys might be in our um, Photography Awesome Sauce book club, but this year one of my goals for business is to read one business book a month just so I can learn something new, challenge myself, change things in my business that maybe not be working the best way. Um, we're reading one book a month. The books are actually really short and they go by really quick and it's becoming really popular and you can join in anytime. So if you want to join in in February or if you want to just join the book club and check out the reading list and read them at your own pace, that's okay too. Um, another really important aspect of keeping your business growing is being willing to change things. There are a lot of photographers who get stuck in their ways and they're always doing things the same. And you know, we, we don't want to be doing things the same. We always want to be willing to change things. If something isn't working, you have to change it. A lot of business owners will see that something's not working and sit around and complain about it. And that is definitely not being productive. But like I said before, if the world is changing a lot around you and clients are changing, clients' expectations, all of that, that's something that you're going to have to change to accommodate. So if you're not willing to change and try new things, your business isn't going to go very far. Um, another part of owning a business that I've learned actually more recently is um, being able to have a bird's eye view, I would call it. 
if you can have a bird's eye view of your business, that's easier to keep it growing. But being able to stand above and kind of see how things work and how things affect the whole is really important. I think sometimes we get stuck in these little areas, like we get stuck spending hours late at night editing and we get really hung up on that one client who's really upset with you and we get hung up on these small little details but we need to remember to be looking at the overall picture um, just being able to see that and see the workings of your business and how it's looking overall, your overall profits, how many sessions you shot this year overall, how many hours you spent working on your business at all, that's all going to give you ideas and reflect to you what's working and what's not working. And finally, I want to say that a growing business is always going to start with you. So in order to grow your business, you need to be the one to do that. It's not has nothing to do with money and having the best equipment or really expensive marketing. It starts with you because if you are the best product of your business and working with you and being photographed by you is more important to your customers than the quality of your pictures and the quality of your equipment, your business is going to go really far. Because as photographers, we're lucky that we're in a small business where we can market ourselves and our personalities and not necessarily the product. Um, so I hope these tips helped you out today and you guys get a better idea of how to keep your business growing. And um, I'll see you guys next week. And that blog post won't be <laughs> in China. That will be in the United States. So thank you guys.